we'll move on to the uh, question and answer portion. Uh, we'll start with uh, Mr. Jackson on this. Uh, what two major issues do you see facing the city council in the next few years? Uh, again, I, got, I, I mentioned that in my opening statement. Retaining college graduates. They come to our city and they get their degree and they, and they become a lot more valuable than when they came here, but they leave. I saw the potential about them. That's why I decided to stay here. So, like I said, the first thing would be definitely retaining our college graduates here and definitely advertising, coming up with a, a strategic plan to definitely in, in, entice businesses and corporations to come here and do business. What I noticed here is that we have a lot of our factories and our mills. Is it up? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm sorry. I'm just in my ears. But uh, what I noticed is that we have a lot of uh, factories and mills that are closed down, but in great condition for the most part. They're just vacant. So I definitely think that other the council should definitely, and even the uh, even the county for the county, should definitely reach out to business with a strategic marketing plan. I'm a marketing major, so in marketing, you learn that without a marketing plan or a long-term goal set for yourself, you can't succeed. Like I said, it might happen by happenstance, but for the most part, you need to plan for success. So I know I spoke a lot in between that, but my two things I definitely think is retaining our college graduates and reaching out to larger corporations that have come back to Bob and want to do business here and give our working age population something to do. As a result of us not having jobs in this in the city, uh, people are leaving and uh, crime is going up because they have to provide for themselves somehow. Mr. Payne, your love. The two most important things that I currently see in the city of Boston, one being the relocation of the water treatment plant and what the uh, water uh, That's something that we don't have an option that's going to have to be done in one way or the other. The second thing that I see, uh, is sort of like Mr. Jackson, it's not necessarily for the college students, but it is attracting industry to pay above minimum wage jobs. Before this forum tonight, I was at the industrial authority meeting, and I always like attending those meetings because you get an idea of what's going on in Downs County. And there are a lot of a lot of very positive things going on in Downs County. Just one quick example: in Downs County, over five point five billion dollars of freight and business imported and exported to Downs County, and that's amazing. Uh, in Downs County, they're attracting other businesses. As a matter of fact, I found out tonight that the Industrial Authority uh, manager is going to be traveling to France to talk to staff about possibly uh, relocating and buying more products here in Dalbasta and Lounge County. So those types of things are attracting industry that pay good wages and the relocation of the little Thank you. Thank you. There's some other things that go 